Okay, so three, two, let's just quick talk about what we talked about yesterday. We talked about rational numbers. What's a rational number again? It's a rational number. So try not to look in your notebook, see what you can figure out. Okay, that's an example. That's an example. What's the definition of rational number, do you have? Something that can be written as a fraction. Uh, examples were decimals. An example is a whole number. Integer. Remember the picture we drew? And if I said, okay, what type of number is 5? What would you tell me? What type of number is 5? Using your picture, what type of number is 5? Give me one thing. Natural. What else is it? A whole number. What else is it? Integer. What else? Rational numbers, all four of those things. You remember, you follow the arrow out. Wherever it starts, you follow the arrow, and everything it goes through, that's what it is. So you, you will need to know this for today, I mean, for your for your homework assignment. But we're going to practice changing um, repeating numbers to decimals, or repeating decimals to fractions. So the next one I had on my thing was 0.23 repeating. Okay, so we're going to change 0.23 repeating. Now, you're going to have to use your notebook to look back at this. I'm going to rewrite it like this so we can see what it looks like. Okay. How many digits are repeating? Two. So that tells me what, what am I going to multiply by then, Aiden? 100. First, I'm going to give this a variable. I'm going to use n just because that's always what your book uses. You can use whatever variable you want. It does not matter to me. Okay, so you're following along with me. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 100, because two digits are repeating. Multiply both by 100. So this looks like this, 100n equals, how many spaces am I going to move my decimal over to? So 23.232323, and so on and so forth. Okay, my next goal is to get rid of my repeating part. And to do that, what do I have to do next? Chance? I gotta subtract. So I'm gonna take what I have here, and I'm gonna take n equals 0.232323. Oops, da da da. And I'm gonna subtract. Now I had some questions in my other class because my other class got this far yesterday, and they said, "Well, I don't know what happens here then." So if you think about it, if you have 100 n's and you're taking one in away, how many n's do you have left? 99 n's. Yep. I sometimes will put a 1 there. You don't have to put a 1 there if you don't want to. Sometimes I do so I can see 100 minus 1 is 9. Always. Because that, when you take off that 1, it's always going to get rid of that repeating part then. Okay. So now this part gets taken away, but I have 23 left over. Okay. So it's looking familiar now. If I have my variable, now what am I going to do next? I'm, I have to have that variable here because it, like, it's still in my problem. It's still there. I got to divide by 99, divide by 99. And if this isn't reducing, I can't reduce it. This is what my answer would be. So if I put that in my calculator, if I put 23, was it 23? 23 divided by 99, it's going to be 0.23232323 in a decimal. And if you have your... About uh, 23.2%. I mean, as soon as it were round. Yep, yep. Okay, so here's the thing. Everybody automatically starts to think, well, 99 is always going to be my bottom number. That's not true. 99 is not always going to be your bottom number. It just happens for a certain one. So let's do another one. Somebody throw out a number that repeats. Point. <laughs> throw me a number that repeats. We'll, we'll let Larissa, because she raised her hand nicely. 532, 532, 532. Okay, so we're going to write this in a fraction. 532, 532, 532. It's going to look like this. N equals 0 0.532, 532, 532. Multiply by 1,000 this time. You're right, because there's three digits that are repeating, right? my decimal three places this time.
probably almost done. You kept going. It literally gets easier and easier as you go. It's easier and easier as you go. Divide by 999. 999. And if you actually put this in your calculator, 532 divided by 999, you're going to get. 532, Not that hard. Let's make it a little tricky. You can do the same stuff. It just it changes a little bit in this area. Okay, so let's try one like this. Let's try point four with just a six repeating this. Let's try four with just a six repeating this time. Okay, go ahead. See what happens. That's right. We're going to multiply by 10 because there's one digit that repeats. So n equals 0.46666. And we're going to multiply by 10 because there's still one number. No. No. So 10n equals 4.6666. Now you're probably like, I don't get it now because things are not going to cancel. Not necessarily. Keep watching. Keep watching. So now I have to subtract. You guys know how to get this far. Now we're going to subtract. Now watch what happens when we subtract. There's some things in my repeating part that don't cancel. Do you see that? Because I have a 4, 6 minus 4. Do you see that part? So I have some stuff in here that aren't going to cancel, and that's okay. So just cross out everything that does and subtract like normal. So you're going to have 4.2 equals 9n. How did I get 4.2? See how I subtracted? Some of the stuff on this side didn't cancel because 4 minus 6 minus 4 isn't 0. So I have some stuff that doesn't cancel. Yeah. I can't have a decimal in fractions. This is what it looks like. What can I do to move a decimal out of a number, though, Haley? You're close. What can I do to get a decimal out of a number, Ethan? Nope, good try. Let's just forget about the 9. How can I get a decimal out of 4.2? Not divide by, but I'm going to do what? I'm going to multiply by 10. Because then I can move it out. Do you see what I mean? If I want to move this out, I'm going to multiply by 10. If I do that, I have to do top and bottom. Then it becomes 42 over 90. Because, you, okay, just listen. It is a good question, but it just you can't combine the two. It's just the way it is. You can't combine the two. You can't combine the two. So... Okay, now listen, let's go back to where I multiplied by 10, because that's where I lost some of you. I needed to move this out, and the only way to get my decimal out of here is multiplying by 10, because if I do that, I guess where it's going to end up now. It's going to end up right there. But if I do that to this, I have to do it to the bottom. It's kind of like, remember when you would divide decimals, if you move it out in the front, you got to move it in the middle. Remember that? Like if I'm dividing like, remember, you got to move it. If you do the one side, you got to do it to the other. Do you remember that? It's the same thing here. So I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by 10 to move it to decimal, basically. That's all I'm doing. And then I can reduce this by 2 for sure. So this is going to be 45, and this is going to be 21. It can even reduce again by 3, I believe. 7 and 15. Is that right? So if I divide this, it should be 4.6 repeating. 7 divided by 15. That's because your calculator rounds it up. Your calculator doesn't have any farther to go, so it automatically rounds it up to the next one. That's the only reason. That's why it does that. Okay, so there's some that are super simple. There's some that are a little more difficult. And the ones that are more difficult are the ones that don't all repeat, like five, what we did before. There's one, just one digit that repeats. Okay, so throw out another one. Throw out a, throw out a, throw out a number. Ava. 5, 3, 2, with just the 3 and the 2 repeating. Okay, good one. Okay, good one. Before we did all of it repeating, but now we're just going to do two of them repeating. Yep. You might have to borrow. You might have to borrow. Okay, so 
So let's go back to this guy. So point five three two three two three two dot 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 and equals. So what am I going to multiply by? A hundred because I have two digits out of repeating. Oh, shoot. So then I'm going to minus my 1n, and I have to make sure I line my decimals up. What's the matter, Gabe? Are you trying by yourself, you guys? Go for it. I'll stop if you want to try, and then I'll show you. You might have to borrow here, because we can't... 2 minus 5 doesn't work, so I gotta change that to a 2. So 7, 52.7 equals 99n. Actually, that's right. Yeah. Right? Uh, no. No, because this is also, this is also gonna, okay, so now watch. But now I still only need to multiply by 10 to get it out one space. And if I do that, top and bottom, I get 527 over 990. And then I don't even know if that's reducible. Honestly, if you, it's not. No, it's not reducible. But if I divide it now, 527 divided by 999, oh, 990, I'm sorry. It gives me 532, 32332332332 in a decimal. Holy cow. It's not that hard. If you get the hang of it and you just keep practicing it, like, it's pretty simple. If you just keep practicing, it takes a lot of practice. Who's going to throw out another one? Somebody else. Raise your hand. Throw out one, Ethan. What, one, two, three, four, all repeating? Okay. Okay, so think about it. If there's four digits repeating, what are you going to multiply by this? 10,000. 10,000. Okay, so figure out what this one is. Why not? we got plenty of time. We're just having fun with it. we got plenty of time. We're just having fun. I'll start it on the board. I won't show you the answer, but I'll get started. Okay, that's as far as I've gotten so far. that far? Okay. And then I'm going to minus. So it would be like this. I can? By three. 
three. I can't reduce by two because nine is not an even number. I don't think I can either. So we'll count this as the answer. So if I divide 1, 2, 3, 4, divided by 9, 9, 9, 9, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Did you see what I mean? Like how to check yourself? If I divide the top and the bottom. Um, good. That was a good one. Let's do another one. We have some, oh, like, three digits and, like, one thing repeats or two things. I want to make sure that we can do those. How about we do one like this? I'll give it to you. Let's do point four, three, two with just the two repeating. Okay, with just the two repeating. Because I know there's something like this in your homework. I want to make sure that we have some. Yeah. This one you're going to have to probably subtract, and not everything is going to cancel on that one side. This should not be. Oh, what did you pick up? Just hold it. You want me to figure it out quick? Throw my practice problem. I got it, Eden. I got 1,111 over 9,000. No, I'm doing his that he was confused on, but I haven't done this. I'll show you mine. Hold on. So, times by 10, so it should look like, I'm just going to skip a step. This is what it's going to look like. Minus 1 N. Minus 4, 3, 2, 2, 2. So then this is going to cancel. But this, I'm going to have to borrow. 13, uh, 12, so 9 and 8 and 389. Anybody get this? Okay. Did you put it? Because 2 was the only number that repeated, so I had to multiply by, by 10. So then I have to multiply by 100, actually. So 389 over 900. But I bet that's, I don't know if that's reduced by two, but it should be. Not. That's what it is? Yeah, it is. And then 389 divided by 900. That's 432222 two, 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 repeating. Nice work. That's all it is. That's it. Not reducible. Um. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. Quickly, quickly. I want to show you one like this. Let's say you have four point one two and just the twos repeated. 
Let's save a whole number. Whole numbers, just leave out. Don't even worry about it. Change this to your fraction, okay? And then at the end, put your four in front of that fraction. Does that make sense? Like, don't even deal. Nope, so you, it's like it's not even here. You just deal with that, and then put the four in the front of that fraction at the end. Do you want me to do one like this? Yeah? Okay. We'll just do this one. Let's just do this one. So four... 0.12 with the 2 repeating. I'm just going to focus on this. So n is going to equal 0.1 with the 2 repeating. I'm not going to worry about the 4. I like to write it out so I can see it. Times by 10. by 9, by 9, but it really, I'm going to multiply by 10, so it's 11 over 90. I think that's great. Um, I had to subtract, and then I had to multiply by 10. What's that? Yep. And then, at the end, you'll take it, you'll do 4 and 11 90ths. That's all. Yep. Yep. Just like a big number. So you think that we can try some of these by ourselves, like in our homework? Yes. If I give you your homework, do you have the rest of the time to work on it and try? Yes. 